sometimes you'll find that it's advantageous for you to group your detail components together so that you can use those detail components in another location. To see an example of that case, let's zoom in to this part of our building where we have our sprinkler 119. And what I like to do is place in a section through this wall. So here on the View tab, I'm going to come up here to Section. I'm going to click once, come across, click again, select on the section line, right click, and then go to View. And this will take us to the section view looking through this wall. Now, if I zoom in here, right now we have a fairly low level of detail. So what I'd like to do is change this detail level from coarse to fine. And when we do that, we can now see that we have concrete block on the inside of this wall. So one of the things that we can do is we can add in some detail components of the actual concrete block and have it go from here and start to go up the wall. To accomplish that, come up here to the Annotate tab, and now we need to use a repeating detail component. So where you have the word component, click the arrow and make sure that repeating detail component is selected. Then underneath properties, where we have our repeating detail concrete block, come down here, click the intersection of these two lines, and then start to come up like this. And it'll start to place in concrete blocks, and then just click once you get all the way up to the top here. Now, technically, we would need to continue to detail this out, continuing the block all the way on up the wall, continuing to do different detail tasks, such as using detail lines, our filled regions, and those sorts of things. Once that's all in place, if we wanted to create another wall section in a different part of the building, and then reuse all that detailing work that we just accomplished, what we can do is group these items together, and then insert that group into the new wall section that we'll be creating. As an example of that, imagine that we had done a lot of detail work, drawn in our lines, regions, as well as these repeating details. What you would do is you would select on each of those items and then create a group out of them. It'll ask, what do you wanna name this group? And I'll call it wall section. Click on okay. Next thing that I'll do is close this view down by coming over here to the corner and then selecting on the X. Zoom out. And now we have a similar condition over here by the staircase. So what I'd like to do is just put a section from here over. So come up here to the View tab, select on Section, click in here, come across. With this section symbol highlighted, right click, then go to the View. Now we can see that we have basically the same scenario here. Let's change that from a coarse level of detail to a fine level of detail. And now underneath our project browser, if we scroll all the way down, we'll see that underneath groups, there's a little plus next to the word detail. And this will have a listing of all your detail groups. The one that we created was called wall section. So I'm just going to select here on this detail group wall section and then pull it out. See how we have this group here and it's trying to place it right here into its correct location. Now, one of the things that we didn't do back in the previous group is actually specify where the base point of this detail group is at. So unfortunately, it's gonna make it a little bit hard for me to actually place it inside of this view. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the escape key, come back up here to the little X and then close down this view, zoom out, zoom in back up here again, select on the section, right click and then go to view, zoom in here to where our detail component is located at and see this X and Y coordinate. If we click the dot between the X and the Y, we can pull that down to a common intersection that we can find. In this case, I'm going to have it go out to the outside face of the wall. Now that I have it in a location where I know where it's located at, click on the little X, zoom out, zoom into our other wall section, click on the section, right click, go to view, select on the wall sections, pull this out, Notice how our insertion point is now down toward the bottom of the selection set, which is where we specified it over in the other view. I'll come over here to the outside edge, click in order to place it in. Now we have those detail components going up and they're in the same location as they were in the other wall section. And if we had taken the time to fully detail out that other wall section, we could have brought in everything that we had detailed out and then drug it over to this wall section, pick the common point, and it automatically would have been finished for us.